All right. Shalom, shalom. For the real Hebrew Israelites, coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of America, which is Babylon the Great. First off and foremost, all praise, this honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to thee, elder apostles of Great Millstone, which are the elder apostles of all Israel. Salutations to the elect. Uh, and this is um response video <clears throat> to war is inevitable. It's like I'm tongue twisted. Um <clears throat> But um, it's inevitable, all right? Um, and this video that we uh, watched, it was saying how basically America is out of moves. They have no other option but to go to war. So whatever or any way they can, they're going to do that. They're going to find a way to do that. And ultimately, we've been in, be in the beginning stages of World War III for the longest now, man. All right? But now this shit is, a. Hey, Motherfuckers doing all they practice, they ready to fucking get down, man. All right? But a lot of that, too, is America setting up false flag events and things of that nature so they could further push um, what they want to do. But I'm going to start off with some scriptures first, and then I'm going to jump into some uh, some uh, little websites and some news headliners I've I dug into. This is First Thessalonians 5 and 3. For it, for when they should say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. All right, because who's going to be say, saying peace and safety? You, you got they're um, they're having these talks of you know ceasefire and peace treaties here and there, but none of that shit really sticks or hold, man. All right, and even if it seems like it does, trust me, something is going on underneath the works. All right, because. At heart, they won't war war three. They done suck America dry. So the only thing left is go to war, man. All right, and it's prophecy uh, 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 on top of that. Okay, sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with their trial, and they should not escape. All right. So <clears throat> this is Joel three and nine. Proclaim ye among the Gentiles, the actual Gentiles, prepare war. You see, all these nations like Iran and Italy just did joint. Uh, drills in a strait of uh, Hamas, all right. So, hey, what does it say? Gather, um, uh, Salakia. It says, um, yeah, prepare, prepare war. So, they're practicing, man, they're uh, prepping themselves for war. Wake up the mighty man, let the man of war draw near, let let them come up, beat your plowshares into sword. So, fuck all that agricultural shit and all that. Hey, this is about to be hardcore crunch time. Who's pumping out these weapons? Who's getting geared up? World War III, all right? <clears throat> Let them come up, beat their plowshares into swords and their purning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I'm strong, like Iran. That's a small country, but hey, let them say I'm strong. North Korea, that's a small country, but they got these missiles. It says, hey, let them say, hey, that's strong. Fuck America, basically, man. All right, then you got the Philippines talking about droning up with Russia and China, man. All right? It says, gather yourselves, let the weak say I'm strong, assemble yourselves, come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. All right? Round about what, man? All right? That that valley of Jehoshaphat, which is the uh, the valley of Yahweh Shapat. All right? Uh, the valley of decision. You know, Yahweh's judgment. All right? For there will I, um, Salakia, to come up to the valley of uh, Salakia. It says, gather yourselves round about and cause the mighty ones to come down. Oh, Yahweh, let the heathen be wakened. All right? Come up to the valley of Yahweh Shapat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Put ye up a sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come down, uh, uh, get you down, for the press is full and fats overflow, for their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. Hey, then when you read, I believe it's 2nd Ezra, the 13th chapter. And that great mountain like uh, UFO, which yeah, our shy is going to be in, and all the men is going to gather themselves to fight against them. This is what that's talking about right there. And how about Shemiah Shah is going to blast their ass, man? <clears throat> this is, um, there would I sit to judge the heathen round about, put you in the sickle for the harvest, which is the end of the wor world, is right. And hey, hence their destruction, we get our salvation, right? Come, get you down, the presses for the fats overflow for the great. Wickedness, uh, wickedness is great, multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. 
for the day of Yahweh is near the valley of decision. The sun and the moon should be darkened and the stars should be uh, drawn from their shining. Because when all the nukes hit, all right, uh, it, it, it throws that mushroom cloud in the earth. And, that, and, and them chemicals and that debris sits in that air for a minute, man. Car crew, all right? There ain't going to be no, hey, it's going to be a, a, a glorious day, man. Yahweh shall roar out of Zion, utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shall sake. Hey, it's going to be a, a great earthquake in that day. Uh, but Yahweh will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel, all right? So, uh, all right, so here's a couple. Of, this was an RT report. Iran and Italy hold joint jails in strategic, in, uh, strategic Strait of Hamas despite the recent... U.S. military incidents. So they don't even care that motherfuckers are shooting at the ships and shit. Hey, this shit is wrapping up, man. Hey, we're going, getting closer and closer to that day. All right, world fastest Russian MIG-31 interceptor jets practice in stratosphere over Kamchatka and Far East. All right, so these guys ain't got these top-notch weapons practicing for no fucking reason, man. All right, that's why in Joel 3 says prepare war, man. They're getting prepared right now. All right, Romanian Air Force swapped old Soviet uh, fighter jets for secondhand F-16s, which the F-16 is pretty good. All right, it's a, hey, I would, if I was in the military and shit, I would recommend it. It's a, it's an all-purpose um, aircraft, all right? Um, <clears throat> but it says the Romanian, uh, Romanian Air Force swaps the old Soviet fighters. So you don't upgrade a weapon for no fucking reason if you ain't going to use it. You know, it, it, that's pointless, man. And it's a, it's a form of flexing, uh, flexing muscle, man. All right. Now, peep this. It says U.S. to de uh, deploy a, a thawed anti-missile system in South Korea, uh, Korea as soon as possible. Why? Because they know them Koreans are really ready to start launching nukes, man. Because this ain't going to be, uh, well, let's have talks and, hey, motherfuckers, are just going to be pushing fucking buttons and sending missiles. And when they get over to that Valley of Jurassic Fat, man, Yahweh Bashim Yashan is going to blast the fuck out of them, man. All right? Because America is going to be destroyed by these missiles. Hey, Yahweh Shah's chariot itself is going to destroy. Hey, uh, who is this who come from Bosnia? He's going to destroy America too as well. This place is going to break into three pieces. Then he's going to fly over into the Middle East and zap their ass. All right? However, which way it works out, it's still going to happen, man. It's going to be beautiful, man. <clears throat> um, so, yeah. Um, oh, kind of. Now, let me read this. This is uh, Revelations 9 and 12. One woe is past, and behold, there are two woes comes hereafter. Now, if you know anything, Albert Pike, man. All right, and like I said, America has to set up things to get this war started too, because all all the chess players are in place, man. All we need is one event, and this shit goes on spin out of control. Cock crew once again. All right, so let me get this article. Pull up this article. Yeah, and you, you brothers, it's on uh, threeworldwars.com. You brothers could, uh, you know. Look it up for yourselves. Do the research. The First World War must be brought about in order to permit the Illuminati to overthrow the powers of the Khazars uh, in Russia. All right, which that's according to true history. All right, a fortress of atheism. Uh, Salak, y'all. Yeah, okay.